Well, there was no glory there. <laughs> Check this out. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing the sunglasses on the back of my head like that. I don't even know why. So I've got no hope of telling you why. Anyway, folks. Welcome to Robbie's River Roundup for Friday the 10th of October 2014. Proudly brought to you by Adventure Camping and Fishing at 14 Rowan Street, Wangaratta. Where they don't just stock fishing gear, but they have a full range of everything outdoors. Fishing, shooting, they've got a lovely big gun room, chock-a-block full of guns, firearm accessories, camping gear, sleeping bags, swags, tents, Weber barbecues, headlamps, torches, gadgets, pretty much everything for your outdoor needs you will find at Adventure Camping and Fishing. Now, how are the rivers looking this week? They uh, are looking really, really good. We've had a fair bit of rain come through here earlier in the week. I think it was Tuesday night, I think. Might have been, yeah, Monday night. Monday night. Early in the week, anyway. We had about half an inch in Wangaratta. Up at Mount Hotham, they had two and a half inches. They had 56 or 57 millimetres. Mount Buffalo had 46, which is about two inches. So they had a fair bit of rainfall up in the catchments. That water is going to run down and cause a little bit of a flush. But that flush will be long gone by the weekend. Because it was only such an isolated heavy falls over the mountains, it would have already drained the mountains and will be well and truly on its way down to Wangaratta by now, if it's not already there, and moving through. The impacts of that flush are going to be quite minimal on the northeast Victorian streams this week. So if you want to head out this week chasing a trout, I think you should be fine. I think there's still a good chance you'll catch trout on worms if you want to use worms. The fact that it's still only October, combined with that little bit of rain we had, there is still a bit of water around, so worms may well work. Lures are probably a better option with the receding water levels. And also, the water's just starting to warm up, so some of the lower land, the lowland creeks and the, the rural sort of areas, are starting to get a bit warm. So we've only got a few weeks left in them to catch a trout before they sit in the bottom of their deep holes and sulk. But for now, the rivers are all looking fantastic. I was down at the Broken River during the week. I didn't catch very many fish. In fact, I caught one big carp and that was about all. But I know the river's looking really good. The Ovens River's looking really good. They're all looking really good, and there's never been a better time to get out with these 20, 25 degree sunny days. So, what are you waiting for? Get out and catch a fish. Just like I didn't in that hole just there. <laughs> but I reckon I can if I come back another day. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. See ya. Ta-ta. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside And I can't even catch a crayfish I bet you'd say How the hell do I cast this way when I'm fishing? See you next week! <laughs>